Hi guys! So we're going to start science and in science we're going to talk about classifying animals and so today I'm just going to give you a little information and hopefully over tonight and into tomorrow I can get down in the basement and I can start looking through my books for more animal books. Um, if I was at school I'd know exactly where they are but unfortunately or not um, I don't have pictures right now because my printer is out of ink so uh, the videos that I have chosen are good ones to help you learn about the different classes of animals. And what that basically means is that there are five groups that we're going to talk about, and each of them have different characteristics. And we're going to talk about mammals. And mammals have hair or fur. Um, most animals are born alive, and um, the female mammals make milk for their young. So that means the babies milk from their mommies and they also breathe with their lungs. They have lungs that they can breathe with. Um, there are reptiles. Um, reptiles are vertebrates and that means they have and they also have scaly skin. They have tough scales to protect them and they breathe with lungs as well and some of them live on land and others live in water. So we've got mammals which can be like bears and dogs. And then we have reptiles, which are like snakes and turtles that have, um, that have the hard um, shells or the scales on. And then there's our fish and fish live in water and they breathe through their gills and they reproduce or they have babies by laying eggs. And they're mostly covered in scales and a sl um, shiny coating that help protects them. Reptiles also have babies by laying eggs as well. In fact, mammals are the only animals that have babies alive. So we've talked about mammals, we've talked about reptiles, and we've talked about fish. Now we're going to talk about amphibians. Amphibians um, spend part of their life in the water and part of their life on land. So frogs are amphibians because when they're born, they're tadpoles and they live in the water and then when they grow up they become frogs and they come they live in the land. Um, they are usually born with gills but then they get as they get older they grow legs and lungs and they that's why they can live on the land. So when a frog was a baby it lived um, when it was a tadpole it had gills and as it grew up it developed lungs so it could live on land. And um, then there are birds. And birds have feathers, they lay their eggs, they have two legs, and they breathe with lungs, and they, um, they, re they lay eggs. So, we've got mammals who have their babies alive, and they breathe with their lungs, and they have hair or fur. And they all, their mommies also produce milk so that their babies can eat. Reptiles, fish, amphibians, and birds all lay eggs for their babies. Reptiles have scaly skin and breathe with lungs. Fish have scaly skin and slimy skin but have um, gills. Amphibians live in the water when they're younger and land when they're older, so they start with gills and then have lungs, and birds have, have lungs. All right, I know that's a lot of information. Um, watch the videos. You'll get to see more animals and more examples of everything. And then hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have some books that we can look at as well. All right, guys, have a great day. Enjoy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.